Uh, this watch is um, Chronometre Artisan, the name of the watch, and I really care about craftsmanship and I really want to, to promote them. This is uh, Simon Brett, um, amazing, I, I love your watch, but uh, for those who don't know you already, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hello to everybody, uh, my name is Simon Brett uh, and I'm an engineer in watchmaking, uh, I'm French. I'm an engineer, I work for always for independent watch brand, uh, I start working with uh, Jean-François Mojon. Um, five years and after MCT. After that I move uh, to MBNF uh, where I develop few watch for, for them and uh, after that I, I, I decide to, yeah, to work for my own. I, at the beginning it was um, only to develop watches for other brands. Mm. I start in April 2021 uh, working for the company independent or, or big uh, group and uh, in 2021, June, I uh, start. Uh, my daughter was born, so I stopped working during two months. And those, during those two months, I have enough time to, to work on a new movement, mm. the, the watch uh, I would love to, to wear. Here we are with that watch. I really love small watch. Uh, during the past, I, I always developed very big watch, and, and it was the first challenge for me to to develop this very small, not very small, but smaller than what I, I work with during the past. So mm. here we are with this uh, 39 millimeters and 10.5 millimeter thickness. So mm. time only, um, I really care about uh, yeah the, the chronometer. So I really want to have the, the most beautiful movement inside mm. with very with this perfect symmetry, and I really want to to. Um, yeah, to be clear with the customer that I am engineer, I developed the watch, um, the movement from the blank page. I care about craftsmanship and I really want to choose and make a team of the best craftsmen I work with during the past. And I developed the watch, uh, I work with those craftsmen, incredible craftsmen. They achieve the, the, the machining, the finishing on, on the components and they come back to me. And uh, I have a workshop where we do the assembly. The idea about those craftsmen uh, is to communicate about them, to help them in their in their business, and to show people uh, how crazy they are, their their skills, and and their amazing level. The finishing on all the different textures is, is just mind blowing. When I first saw this, like the thing that caught my eye the most was the dial texture. This one um, has the in hand engraved yeah. um, texture where you're pushing the material and then creating these multi layers um, and, and then on this one this is a this is like a gratte finish yeah this is gratte finish and so. uh, and then what had been blowing my mind the, the, the past half an hour are these screws where um, they the curved inwards yeah so black polished as well yeah so, so this is something a bit crazy uh, I have this um, idea of making this screw with the head with this perfect in curved surfaces with with this beautiful uh, black polish so we know it's able to achieve to, to achieve it on flat surface mm. so I really want to challenge um, my craftsman the one is Anton Peterson and, and I really want to challenge him to, to, to achieve this perfect in curved surfaces with this black polish. And that first of all, he, he explained me that, that it won't be possible to achieve it and he find a, a solution to, to make it uh, possible. So I also noticed on the side of the case, you've got this, uh, this kind of um, hourglass shape. Yeah, so uh, this is a special thing for me. It's only aesthetic, but it it, it, me, it means a lot for me. Uh, this watch is um, Chronometre Artisan, the name of the watch, and I really care about craftsmanship and I really want to, to promote them. Uh, my dad is craftsman mm. and he is carpenter and he often used this uh, key link to, to link those two components, wood components. So it's more aesthetic but it means a lot for me everything about this watch is just so amazing the symmetry of the movement the, the finishing of, of each part i mentioned that the balance 
bridge is made in titanium, obviously much much harder to uh, produce, but uh, because of the anti-magnetic properties, it, it, it made perfect sense for you. And then uh, on, on the dial side, you see everything from the, the dial, the polishing of the wheels, uh, the attention to detail with when you're setting the, the hands and the hour hand kind of goes around in the circle. Um, it overlaps the, uh, the circles in the right positions at every point. So, oh my God, this is just an amazing watch. I'm also very curious to hear about what plans you have in the future. Uh, I'm sure this is not going to be the only watch that you produce. Yeah, yeah. This is the the first two prototype, and um, the next step is to launch the brand with the 12 pieces limited edition subscription, and they will be delivered that year. And at the end of the year, we will launch the series, uh, which will be um, very close, but a bit different with the material of the case. It will be zirconium for the, the subscription, titanium for the, the series, and the dial will be a bit special for, for the subscription. Mm -hmm. And every year I will launch different version. I will launch the, um, the, the, the first complication in 2025. And for the subscription, this is uh, something, not for the subscription, the, the series, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, it won't be a limited edition. It will be limited in production. Only 12 per, per year will be, will be done. Mm -hmm. And uh, less than 100 pieces uh, will be achieved, so. Well, those are very lucky few people who will be able to get one of these pieces. And uh, yeah, I uh, assure you, this is just as amazing as in person as it is in pictures. Um, so you can find Simon Brett on uh, Instagram. Sure. Um, Simon underscore Brett underscore watches. watches. So uh, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you. Me um, too. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much. Thank you.